Howdy folks, never fails. When you need to use something and you're in a rush, no work. Yeah, my line pitch gauge is finally crapped out after ooh, a good number of years of service. But uh, let's take it apart to see if we can fix it. Let's first check the batteries. 3.06, 3.06. So not completely full, but very close. Oh, let's pull this thing apart. So, what's going on? So I don't know if this is the problem, but uh, this is the board here, and the three little tactile switches, this is the power one. The solder joints were pretty bad. Now I've redone, well I've redone them, but hopefully there's still one here I can show you. Zoom right in. So the little pads weren't completely covered with solder. I'm just going to put a little flux on here. And I'm going to actually redo all the switches, but let's just uh, see if we can tag this real quick. Okay, let's fire the batteries back in. And see if we might have got lucky. Okay, power up. Ho oh, ho! Awesome! So, that's all it was. And yeah, uh, it's been my experience that uh, with these tactile switches that are mounted right to circuit boards, especially nowadays, because everything's using no lead solder, it's a lot more brittle, and every time you press these little tactile switches, you know, you're flexing the switch on the board slightly, and over time it will fatigue crack the... Uh, the solder connections which was the case with this little gauge and yeah so if you've got one of these gauges you know they make them by different names they're copied or really anything with these tactile switches and it craps out on you go in there and uh, reflow the uh, switch contacts that might be all it is cheers folks happy pitch gauging or whatever else you do with your little tactile switches